What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, we are gonna be getting up close and personal with each other more so than usual. Today I thought I would just sit down with you guys and do my everyday makeup routine, but I thought I would film it over on my macro lens, show you guys everything. Pores and all, no filters, not that I ever do, but no filters, no nothing. Just up close and personal so you guys can see exactly how all the products and like my favorite products actually look on my skin. I saw a lot of you guys saying that you think the macro shots that I do are very, very satisfying, especially when I like apply foundation and stuff. So I've included a lot of those. But yeah, I just thought it could be a little bit of fun. Let me know if you want me to do it again. Let me know if you want me to, I don't know, do anything with this. Maybe this can be a series or something. I don't know. But yeah, if you guys want to see my everyday makeup routine, up close and personal, please stay tuned. Hello. Okay, so this is my bare face. Hello. How are you? So first of all, I'm going to be using the Ulla Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Double Cream, which I love. I mean, of course I love it. It's like part of my everyday favorite. So I'm going to take a really satisfying scoop of that and then just apply that all over my skin. Then I'm gonna take the Bliss Fabulip Sugar Lip Scrub. This stuff is so good and actually really kind of hydrating on your lips as well as also being exfoliating. So again, another satisfying little scoop of that and I'm just gonna smack that all over my lips. And then I'm gonna try and be somewhat put together and wipe it off, but screw it, let's just wipe it off on our hand. Then I'm gonna be taking the MAC Lip Conditioner. This stuff is so good. I tried this for the first time in the video, but it's a recent favorite of mine. Ooh, baby, look at that. A little wiggly worm. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna apply that all over my lips. Then I had a few little stragglers, so I'm just gonna pluck those away. I just left this in because it's really kind of satisfying just watching the hairs being tugged out of my face. Loki cannot wait to get my microblading top up because look at those brows. So now I'm gonna take my Ofra sponge and I'm gonna be using, of course, my Milani 2-in-1 foundation and concealer in the shade Creamy Vanilla. So I like to take a pump of that and I mix it with the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in the shade white. So I just add a few drops of that onto my sponge. And then dot that all over my skin. This is like the most satisfying bit. Give me coverage. And here's me showing you that even though my foundation doesn't match my face, it does match my arms. So then of course I'm going to be using this very sad looking It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. So I like to apply this with my fingers. So I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes and then tap it in. And then I just like to go over it with my sponge just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Then I'll take the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'll put all the shades and everything that I use in the description box down below, but I just take some of that and apply it wherever I want to highlight. So under my eyes, on my chin. And then again, I just blend all of that out with my sponge. You can literally see this combo on my skin is just the most flawless, dewiest looking thing ever. So now I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder, which you guys know is an absolute fave of mine. So I'm gonna take just a teeny, a tiny little bit of that on an under eye setting brush, and I'm gonna apply that underneath my eyes. And then also just a little bit over my nose, 
corner of my mouth and then I'll go in with a larger brush, use a tiny little bit of powder because I don't like it to be too matte and I will just pat that all over my face. Then I'll go in with my spoolie and I'll just brush my brows through. My brows have a mind of their own so I just like to try and keep them all going in the same direction. I'm then going to go with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5. This is an absolute favourite of mine. I literally swear by these brow products. So yeah, I'm just going to brush in my brows with a spoolie and then fill in my gaps where I normally would have it microbladed. And just build up the shape a little bit. I'm then gonna use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This stuff literally glues your brows down like nothing else. If you want your brows to stay in place, this will do it for you. So I just like to really work that into the root of my brows. And then I just like to brush it through with my spoolie to make sure it is fully slicked down. Then I'll follow up with the Benefit Gimme Brow Plus. Again, you guys know, another solid fave of mine. So I'm just gonna run that through my brows just to kind of tint them a little bit. And then look at the state of this sad little Too Faced chocolate bronzer. I mean, you know I love a product when it looks like this. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that. And I just like to chisel out my cheekbones with that there. I also like to go in my crease with this as well. I don't know, I've just always done it, it's just, old habits die hard. Then I'm gonna go in with the MAC Give Me Some bronzer and I'm gonna pop that just a little bit higher on my cheeks. At the moment I really like to sweep it over my nose as well just to look a little bit more sun-kissed. Then of course I'm going in with my favorite highlighter Ofra Rodeo Drive. So this is a pretty brand new one. It looks so nice, I just love it. Oh my God, look at that. So I'm going to take some of that, you really don't need a lot with this, and I'm just going to pop that all over my entire face, basically, on my cheeks. On my brow bone. On my inner corner, I swear I cannot do a full face of makeup without doing my inner corner. And then of course, on my snoz. Then I'm gonna take this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. I love this stuff so much. It looks like it's not been touched, but I use the teeniest, tiniest amount. And I'm just gonna pop that basically in between the highlighter and the MAC bronzer just to kind of blend it all together. I'm then gonna take the Nip and Fab Sculpted Palette and I'm gonna take this cool brown shade and I'm going to pop that through my crease. And also on my lower lash line. I'm then gonna take the slightly warmer brown shade and also run that through my crease and also on my lid as well. It's just something super simple. Then I'm gonna take this kind of copper bronze shade and just pop a little bit of that on my lid just to add a bit of dimension. And then I'm gonna be applying my favorite mascara, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Ecstatic. This stuff is so good. I literally have so many backups of it. I mean, you can just see the difference that it makes to my lashes. So yeah, I like to pop that on my top and bottom lashes. I usually go in with two coats just because I do like more of a chunky lash. That little teeny tiny bit of mascara on my lower lashes. Oh my God, that's the most annoying thing in the world. I'm then gonna take this sleek lip liner. Again, I will put the shade in the description box down below. And I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring with my lips. So I'm obviously gonna line them. And then I'm also gonna go right down the center and also down the side just to create some little creases. Then I would be using my Maybelline Nude Embrace lipstick, but it's very much dead. And I'm not happy about it. So I've had to get a new one. But instead I'm gonna go in with my NYX Suede Matte Lipstick. It's like a slightly lighter, almost slightly more peachy shade. So I'm just gonna pop that just on the center of my lips. I just like to tap it. It takes me so long to go through a nude lipstick because I use the tiniest little amount. I just make sure it's really tapped into my lips. 
And there goes the concealer. So then I'm gonna go back in with my Too Faced concealer and of course I'm gonna be popping a tiny little bit of that in the center of my lips, just again to kind of like highlight it a bit more, create a little bit of dimension, make them look a little bit fuller. And then to make sure that my makeup stays on my face all day, I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. And that is the finished look. And then I'm just gonna include a few slow-mo shots of me looking seductively at and away from the camera. Little zoom in. Ooh, that aesthetic, yes. And that is the finished look. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please do give this video a big thumbs up. And like I said, let me know if you want me to do more videos like this or incorporate more macro shots in some shape or form. I can do that. It's, it's a bit more work, but I can do it. And if I can't do it, then all I can do it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Going to be really awkward if I have something in my teeth in the macro shots. Didn't think about that.